important to have international conference. And clearly for international conference to occur in Asia, it is much more convenient for the participant from Asia to come to that particular conference because of travel and so on and so forth. That, that's, that, is, that is the reason I think there's a very important value of having the meeting in Asia. So the synergy is tremendous. You know, I always enjoy coming here, bringing my knowledge from the U.S., but also at the same time learning from my colleagues in Asia about what they do, how they deal with their patients. So I think it's a mutually beneficial uh, interaction and event. It's because in a pharmaceutical company, obviously they develop new medications, new treatments. They need input from uh, the physician in development of those treatments, and then the eventual benefit is going to be patients. So I think the, that interaction is always very, very important to have. We are mainly into the aesthetic uh, skin care and also uh, products like uh, lasers and also medical device like the Regenera. Yeah, so these are the uh, aesthetic uh, products that we are focusing. So in this part of the, uh, the world, you know, we will need a platform like uh, Dermal uh, Asia or Asia Dermal. Yeah, so this is an opportunity that allows us to reach out to our customers. As uh, exhibitor and uh, you know, for us, you know, if, uh, if uh, we can uh, create more uh, awareness about our brand, about our products, and then uh, doctors uh, 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 come to our booth, and then I think that will that will help to increase our 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 business in in, in our market. My company started way back in 1993. I started in the beauty sector, and now uh, since a decade ago or 17 years ago we go into the medical aesthetics. So I think Asia Derma will be a very, very good platform for me to actually uh, introduce our services, our technologies and our products to the uh, doctors around this Asian ASEAN region. Having such a platform is where we can take this opportunity to update our technologies, our information, our services to the uh, medical aesthetic industry. So definitely such a show will help us uh, to actually deliver all these messages to the doctors. Well, I think there are a lot of things we can do for this market. It's, uh, uh, and uh, the doctors, the association and uh, companies should work together uh, for this company, for this market. But this is more like a commercial conference and here we see some new technology, the new skills and uh, uh, everything is based on our daily work and we see some new product and uh, we can share the experience from other doctors. It's really a very directly experience from other colleagues as a really benefit from this kind of conference. I opened my eyes to the messages, the take-home messages that the lecturers give. So it's very important to be not only molecular in, uh, in dealing with your lectures, but also the practical side. Because in reality, you give to your patients what is understandable rather than just molecular level which only probably the speaker and I can understand. So the take-home messages are quite very important. The conference uh, is very balanced so I get the best of both worlds. Okay, there are a few different kinds of plasma devices or plasma technologies in the world, but then the one we are specializing in is called cold plasma. It does actually four different things. It kills bacteria on the skin, it helps absorption rates go up like six times higher, it does skin rejuvenation and also does toning. So those are characteristics of cold plasma that we are focused on. Uh, the experience that we had with um, Dubai Doma. Uh, it was one of the best exhibitions that we could attend as uh, the company in the industry. I was hoping the same could happen in, uh, in Asian countries.
Asia Derma will be a very good meeting. The, I know this is the first time it start this meeting. I uh, was advising in the Emirates, Dubai Derma, and I get involved, you know, in the coming to this first meeting and giving, giving a workshop and a lecture. There will be hundreds of doctors coming from many parts of Asia and other parts of the world. I think that there's too much action in Asia in this field of dermatocosmetics and aesthetic procedures. And uh, Asia and Singapore is a wonderful place. Our products are prescribed by more than 14,000 dermatologists in the world, 40,000 pharmacists sell our products in 80 countries. I expect to have uh, to find uh, maybe uh, the right partner, business partner, distributor for Isis Pharma in Singapore. And I'm also looking for more prescribers in order, so for that, uh, I hope that doctors coming and visiting this uh, exhibition, Asia Derma, will um, see the efficacy of our products, the innovative, uh, products that we propose. Singapore plays a crucial role being uh, a central hub in this part of the world, so in part of Asia. And uh, having a meeting here really helps bring out a lot of, you know, knowledge and experiences of doctors who live in the nearby countries. So the, the nice thing about the conference is that, you know, it brings in a very good balance of international speakers and very, you know, very much regional speakers. We have speakers from uh, Europe, we have speakers from uh, the United States. If it is very difficult for a lot of the doctors to fly there, to kind of see them in their conferences, for example, the American Academy of Dermatology or the EADV in Europe, you know, you have people representing those regions, giving their talks here and sharing their experiences here. So I think it's very, very important for them to attend the meeting. I'm more focus focusing on the medical um, continued professional education. I think this is important. Uh, and there is a need for more dermatology meetings in the regions to promote uh, continued medical education to fellow colleagues. Uh, so, so I think we welcome any uh, organized uh, uh, postgraduate uh, training program uh, and meeting to uh, update um, our colleagues. It is the first time that they're trying to bring Asian speakers into a, a place. And we know that like, some, some devices and some treatments, they are different for different ethnic groups. So it's good to hear from our, our local or our Asian colleagues how they treat certain skin conditions. Because most of the publications or most of the uh, literature are more on, on Caucasian patients. So we, I think we should be in a position to like, share our knowledge in this meeting here. It's a great way to connect with other thought leaders in the field and I think that if we don't start really looking at simple things like facial changes or perceptions of beauty or the way that we shape the face other than what companies will give us as standard protocols, then how can we advance our own concept of aesthetics? I want to know that the person who's treating me understands that because as the world becomes more global, it also becomes more individualized. And I think Asia Derma is really about refining the science of beauty. I think Asia Derma in this inaugural meeting has brought together some really important key opinion leaders. And it's always wonderful to network with the faculty because as the world becomes smaller, these relationships become ever more important. This meeting uh, in Singapore is very interesting because it gives the opportunity to confront and compare our experience with scientists from Asia. Normally uh, we have uh, uh, experience only reading papers but uh, having the chance to meet personally experts on the field from Asia is extremely important. Please keep in mind that uh, Asia skin may present some different from Caucasian skin and so this will be more interesting and challenging. I think this Asia Derma meeting has been very well designed. The quality of speaker is very high. They are all qualified 
they are all uh, uh, known speakers, so the message that they are going to release is a clear and uh, free of any commercial interest. The attention for the dermatological problem is very high, and so the research and uh, all the study regarding our the discipline, our material is very, very high. Congress like this one increase our knowledge, and so we can update our knowledge thanks to uh, the different lecture of different speakers. Sharing the experience, uh, European dermatology can learn from uh, Asiatic dermatology and vice versa. Huh? So only sharing the experience we can improve our knowledge. It's the first time for me to join the uh, Asia Derma and it's really quite different from the annual meetings our, uh, in China. So there's a more, uh, uh, more topics covered, both the skin disease and also the aesthetic medicines. And also you can have very good platforms uh, between the dermatologist and plastic surgeon or physician or the private practice or academics. So you have a more uh, diversity. So, and also you can feel in the different Asian countries, our practice experience is, uh, uh, is different. So we can have very good communications yeah, each other. It's a really a good platform and you can have more opportunities to, to communicate with each other. And also I think it's really good here. It's organized quite well and they're very professional. Well, medicine is advancing very, very fast, uh, in particular dermatology. And there are always new things happening. Either we understand how disease develops, or we have new way of treating disease as we understand how the disease develops. And therefore, we have to keep abreast of what's happening. And conference is probably one of the best ways for people to share their experience, share their knowledge, and then go back and apply it on the patients, and the patient will benefit as a result of it.